Hi everyone, here we are applying the frequency count method using the count variable to calculate the number of steps for calculating the uh, time complexity of written algorithm which is finding sum of n numbers using the uh, iteration. Here we are writing the method sum1 which is passing the array variable list1 and the number of elements of uh, given a program n. Here we are making the assignment operation as per the procedure assignment operation will use uh, count variable uh, incrementing by 1. So we are incrementing the count variable by 1. Initially inside the class a global class uh, that is a parent class we are uh, uh, declaring the count variable uh, yes integer and assigning with zero so this is the global variable then we are using that global variable to increment by one for assignment operation then we are declaring the variable for declaration we will not uh, increment the count variable so it will take only a zero uh, time complexity uh, for the declaration and then next one is the for loop which is the control part as per the procedure control part will be assigned a single operation so this is incremented by 1 and it will be incremented for uh, n times okay so this is this is uh, incremented for n times so it will increment for n times repeatedly and here we are using assignment operation and addition operation so entire operation is considered as single statement so here we are uh, uh, counting the variable by incrementing the one so here this also will execute for n number of times for i equal to one one time and i equal to two two times second time then i equal to three third time it will keep on execute for n times so this one will run for n times this one will run for n times and here this is one time and this statement here finally the n will exit n will exit at the n plus 1 value okay when it is reaching the n plus 1 greater than 1 then it will exit from the loop so for that we are incrementing the count variable for one time then finally we are returning the uh, value uh, of this variable so for return statement it will consume one unit of time so it is incremented by one so finally so here we got one unit of time you look at that here it is consuming one unit of time for assignment operation then for control part of the for loop it is consuming n unit of times for this some statement uh, assignment and addition it is uh, consuming n unit of times and exiting the loop when it is i value is greater than n so yeah, that is the n plus 1 okay so for that we are uh, uh, assuming that is a consuming one unit of time and the return statement which is consuming one unit of time so when you are calculating here n plus n plus uh, this one uh, plus this two ones so one plus one so finally we got two n plus three number of steps of uh, consumed by this given algorithm so this is the way to uh, use the frequency count uh, to calculate the uh, number of steps consumed by the written algorithm thanks for watching